everybody, Robert here with BRPAutodesigns.com. Today we're going to be tackling a whole new project. Now for a while we've had a bunch of you guys emailing us or calling us and asking us for a box for the two-door Jeep Wrangler. Well the issue we were having is we couldn't find the uh, where to where to bolt the, bo the box itself into so we were looking at uh, bracket designs, different designs and different ideas and that's actually what took the longest. What we did come up with is we figured that the only way that we could make this box work would be actually drill through the fender. Well, I'm going to show you how it works, how to install it, and everything that comes with it. So here, first of all, we've got our box. And this is the box that you will be using for your Wrangler, whether it be a JK, two-door, or a JL. This box will fit for both applications. Now you can see this is our box, our new design. This is, we put 1941, we figured, great, you know, Matt goes with the, the, uh, the year that the uh, Jeep was initiated. So we've got our box. The mounting depth on the box for the two door is going to be six inches uh, as far as mounting depth. So there's so many applications, so many speaker manufacturers out there that will, uh, that this box will work with. Right here we've got a Rockford Fosgate R2D2, which is what we're actually going to be installing. Now, we're going to install this, but we're not going to show you how to, how to wire it up because at the end of the day, you may have some different idea, or I'm sorry, not different idea, you may have different homage, or you may have a single or dual voice coil. So you want to be able to wire it up however the instructions uh, say for, for your application. But as you can see, this is what it should look like. Okay, now I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to show you what you're going to need to install it. We're going to set this aside here and we're actually going to show you, you're going to need a wrench, you're going to need a 11 millimeter socket, an extension of some sort, it, you can get a big one or a little one, it doesn't really matter, this works perfectly fine, and you're going to need a box wrench, also 11 millimeters. Okay, you're going to have your uh, uh, bolts, I'm sorry, screws, and then your nuts. That's what we have there, and then of course four washers. And that's all you're going to need. Oh, sorry. Uh, we've got one more thing, which is going to be your drill and a quarter inch a drill bit, so you could drill through the fender. That being said, we've got everything here. We're just going to walk over to the Jeep and start installing the box step by step. So we've removed the rear seat and we've placed the box on the side. Okay. Now. One thing that you want to do is the front of this box here should line up about here. As you can see here, this little hump is where this should line up. So you want to line it up there, okay? And the first thing you want to do is find yourself a Sharpie like so, because it's going to make it much easier. Especially with if you have black carpet. So. If you notice here, there's there's somewhat of a hump. It goes down, so you want it to look correct. So you want to almost raise it up a little bit, try to gauge it, and then once you gauge it, more or less where it's at, right there's good for me. Then you want to go through and mark your holes, okay? Once you do that, we're gonna remove the box and you can see there's two marks there. Now one thing that we forgot to mention is find yourself a razor blade, something like this, and we're gonna make a cut all the way through the carpet if you have carpet. If you don't have carpet, then you won't have to worry about this. I do a crisscross cut. Make sure you cut all the way through. And I do recommend you have a buddy or somebody help you if you're gonna be doing this because this will you know, you're going to need somebody to help you on the other side when you're running the bolts through there after you drill. So we're going to do that. We're going to cut the those there. Make sure you've got a good cut there. I do apologize. The neighbors are outside and they're uh, they're having a meeting or something. They're pretty loud. But anyways, um, we've cut the holes there. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my drill and go through it. Now I do recommend you have somebody out in the back pulling that plastic uh, inner fender so you don't drill through the plastic inner fender. Unless you don't mind then then it doesn't matter. But um, we want to just uh, drill through the uh, through the sheet metal here and then we'll uh, that way we can run the bolts 
through but we don't want them to be visible as far as the plastic trim that's on the other side will, will uh, hide the bolts. Okay, so one of the things that you wanna do before you even attempt to install it is you wanna run your connectors first or your wire. So what we've got here is we've got our, uh, our speaker wire. We just need to find which ones are negative and which ones are positive. And of course, we had to choose the one that is not very clear okay so this one's positive so now once you've got that we can put our box over we're gonna get our screws we're gonna have somebody on the other side so what you want to do is you want to get your bolt and your washer and you run it try to run it through now you will need to be patient for this there we go I think we're good there push it as hard as you can and then somebody should be on the other side you should have somebody uh, on the other side uh, putting on the washer and the nut so now you can see the box is in it's solid what I do recommend is that while you're installing this one just raise the box pull it as high up as you can I try to line it up with the window the top of it so it sits, at, you know, it goes horizontal with the window. It lines up. That way you know it's more level. Um, here on this end, it will be hitting the carpet. Down here, it'll have a little gap. That's normal. That's how it should be. Other than that, the next step for us is just going to be to mount the speakers. And uh, that's it. Other than that, that's the install. Next step is we're going to show it plain, and then you can see how everything functions. We'll put the seats in and you can kind of gauge it. Okay, so as you can see, we're all done. Um, now we're just gonna finish buttoning everything up. Um, we install the boxes, they're all good to go. They're solid, they're not going anywhere. They're bolted through. Uh, right now what I'm gonna do is just install the seat and put everything back together and then show you a real quick clip of them playing. And then once all of that's said and done, we're gonna call it a day. That being said, let me finish up and then we'll continue. Okay, everybody, as you can see, we're all done with our JK, uh, our, our install video. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, give us a call at 480-569-3133 uh, or email us at brpautodesigns at cox.net. That being said, we wish you luck. If you need any help, feel free to reach out to us. God bless you guys all. We'll see you soon.